Okay, you know that classic card layout problem, right? You've got a grid of cards, but one has a huge title, the next has a tiny description, and suddenly all the footers are this zigzagging mess. It's so annoying to look at. The old way to fix this was to micromanage everything with fixed heights, flexbox tricks, or even JavaScript. It works, but it's kind of a pain to build and really brittle to maintain. So here's the new move. We're going to use subgrid. This lets every card in the row share the same invisible grid lines. Suddenly, all the footers snap into a perfect line. All the media sections align. Everything just works, cleanly, without any weird hacks. Now, let's set the scene. We start with a basic grid of cards. Each card is its own mini grid with rows for the header, the media, the body, and the footer. This is our solid fallback for older browsers. Now for the hero feature. Inside an at supports rule, we have the parent grid define a set of row tracks and give them names, like title, media, body, and footer. And here's the reveal. Each card is set to span those rows, and then we tell it. Grid template rows, subgrid. The magic is that the items inside the card, the header, image, body, footer, just place themselves into those named lines. The body row is the only one that grows with different content lengths, while all the footers stay perfectly aligned. It's clean, predictable, and so fast. Reality check. Older browsers will just use the fallback layout, which still looks great. Everyone gets a good experience. But modern browsers get that pixel-perfect alignment for free. So you get three big wins. Way fewer CSS hacks, a consistent visual rhythm, and much easier maintenance. What are you going to align with subgrid first? If this was helpful, hitting that like button really helps me out, and subscribing means you won't miss the next one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.